hello n6 student so in this video we are going to deal with a text section so i pick one of the question paper uh, which was written in on 14 june 2024 okay so basically this video we are going to cover professional payment for company all right so it is gonna be question two and if you want to check other questions you can go to playlist for text section you will find them uh, make sure that after this video go and check them so that you can also learn other videos and also guys please uh, i have realized that n6 students there are very few and if you you guys you are not supporting by subscribing uh, this playlist will never grow so please make sure that you subscribe before you leave this video okay so let's start with our question so they said that required Calculate the first professional tax payment 2.2. Calculate the second professional payment. What you need to know about professional payment, guys, when it comes to the company. You know that, for example, let's say our year is starting January up to December. You know that a business is going to be able to calculate how much are they owing SARS when it comes to income tax. Because you have to first draft income statement for the year end so that you will see how much tax must be paid so guys it doesn't mean that a sars have to wait until december so that you see how much you owe them then you pay no it doesn't work like that we have what we call professional payment professional payment is a, an estimation that you need to pay during the year so that if uh, by the end by the year end uh, what you paid is more SARS is gonna give you a refund if you what you paid is less you have to pay the balance to SARS that's how it works so we have two professional payment they have to make at least two payment okay after six months they have to make what we call a professional payment okay so the calculation on how we calculate first professional payment and second professional payment they are not the same so you have to be able to know how are we going to calculate the first one how, how how do we calculate the second one it's more like a, a formula okay let's first read the scenario now and then after that we're gonna do calculation they said voma pty ltd had a taxable income of 950 as assessed on 15 july 2021 and they they estimate their taxable income for 2022 to be 990 okay then on 20 6 february 2022 is our current year they say that unaudited figures reveal that they will have estimated taxable income of 1.2 million okay and they want to pay the minimum tax without the risk of incurring penalties or interest guys if the company does not pay a minimum a uh, tax they are going to incur what we call interest and the penalties which means that you need to obey with these formulas of this two payment so that you, you 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 are not going to face penalties or interest for example guys imagine uh, the company which is making more than 50 million revenue and they just pay estimation because professional is estimation estimation of 20 rand uh, that's crazy guys you can't pay 20 rand if you are making 50 million that's why we have this formula that you need to use okay it's depend on the company amount they are not the same okay so in order for us to calculate first provisional payment we must first remember the question said indicate the date and irp form needed to be completed okay now because our year is ending 28 february 2022 which means that the first one will have to be made uh, after six months from beginning of our year our year if it start, it's ending 20 february 2022 which means that it started one march 2021 if you count from one march 2021 uh, up to six months it's gonna give you uh, this date the first payment will be 31 august if you count from march march april may june july august is going to give you six it's going to be paid on this of 2021 we are counting from year beginning because our year beginning one march 2021 and it's ending 
28 February 2022. The second payment is made at the end of the year. Very simple. Okay. Now, there was a two marks allocated here and two marks allocated here. And one mark is to name which form is IRP6. IRP6 is the one that you need to, to fill. So already six marks just to mention this without any calculation. Okay. So the basic amount that we are going to use for first provisional payment, it must be the amount of last year. We, we, we have to calculate using the estimation of amount of, of the previous year. Okay, if you check on our question paper, they said VOMA P2 LTD has taxable income of 950 as assessed on 15 July 2021. Okay, basic amount, uh, it was 950. Thousand and you know that tax for company uh, is 28 percent, which means that we have to punch 28 percent of this amount. Okay, uh, 950 multiplied by 28 percent, it's gonna give you 266,000. But this is not what is going to be paid, remember. Uh, this 950 is estimation of the full amount so which means that this one it can be we can't pay full amount and pay full amount again we have to pay half of it which means that we have to divide by two okay then we're gonna say 266,000 divided by two if you don't want to divide by 2, you can just say 6 over 12 because it's 6 months. 6 over 12 is going to give you the same thing, okay? Uh, which is going to be 133,000, which means that our first payment, our first payment, we're going to conclude that is 133,000. You must get this right if you want to get this right. Okay, now let's go to the second provisional payment. Okay. Now, uh, the step that we are going to use uh, for this one, a second provisional payment which is going to be made on 28 February 2022. We have to make sure that it's reaching the minimum because they, they say they want to pay the minimum of what is required so that they won't get what a penalties. All right. So, our minimum, uh, this is how we are going to, 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 to pick it up. Remember, we have been given the estimation of this year of 1.2 million. Okay, now we have to choose the lower, we have to choose the lower of 1.2 million or 80% of this 1.2 million. Obviously, the lower one is going to be the second one. 80% of 1.2 million, if you say 1.2 million, my by 80% is always there on the formula, guys. Okay, it's going to give you 960. How did we get 960? Again, you said 1.2 million. Multiply by 80%. Okay, you're gonna get 960. Okay, and we put 960 thousand this side. So now we are moving to the next step. The next step is to calculate 28% of this 960. 960 multiply by 28%. So if you are watching this video after the tax rate of a company change you just have to use the one the one that is currently being used okay if they use they are using 30 percent use 30 percent okay uh 28 percent of this is going to be 268,000. this 268,000 guys is like this 266 it's a full amount which you, you have to do at to take half but in this case because we already made a payment of half we are not going to divide by two but to subtract amount of 
133,000. So now in this case, it's more like um, this half because we already paid it, which means that uh, you can't go and divide this one because you're not going to get exactly the same as this amount. Remember, in this case, because it's already year end and we know the estimation that is 1.2 million, which means that in this case, we have to use the different amount. We can't just go and put uh, 133,000 and then we say that it's a second uh, payment. All right. So, which means that if you calculate this, it's going to be 135,000. The second provisional payment is going to be 135,000. So, that's how it worked. And the first one, it was 9 marks in total. The second one, it was 11 uh, marks. So, I hope you learned something and you enjoy it. Guys, please. Make sure that you subscribe and also go and check uh, the other subjects that you are doing like financial accounting and cost accounting. I created the list, uh, share with other students so that they can also learn. I will see you on the next one. Uh, the